guys, welcome back to my channel. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody is doing well. Well guys, it is December 1st, which means we are officially through the month of November. And I normally don't do a whole lot of pickups videos or a whole lot of, hey, what did I pick up in the month of whatever month I'm talking about. But in the month of November, I actually picked up quite a few movies. Some of them I've showcased um, on the channel, some of them I have not. But uh, I got some really cool titles. Some were... Um, there were a lot of good sales going on. You had the Black Friday deals, the cyber um, sales, uh, the Criterion Collection at Barnes & Noble sale was going on. And uh, yeah, so I picked up a bunch of cool stuff. Some are newer titles. Some are pretty old movies that I just happened to pick up in the month of November. And so I just thought I was, you know, going to throw together a little bit of video and show you guys... Uh, with you guys what I uh, picked up. I think I got about 25-ish titles. There are a few that have not shown up yet. Um, so from the Best Buy Black Friday deal, um, I did get the new Dune, uh, which I think was $9.99, which has not shown up yet uh, on 4K. And then I got Labyrinth on 4K, which I think was $7.99, which has not shown up yet. And then there was one other one. Oh, yeah, Sicario. On 4K, which I haven't seen in forever, and I'm really looking forward to revisiting that. I remember watching it the first time and being blown away at how good it was. So yeah, so those three I have not got in yet. Uh, but otherwise, I do have a pretty big stack right over here uh, of movies that I did get in, and we're going to uh, talk about it. So we're going to start things off, guys, with the uh, new movie from the Vestron Collection series, and that is Earth Girls Are Easy, uh, with... Uh, Jeff Goldblum and Jim Carrey. I think Marlon Williams is in this. Uh, Gina Davis. It's been a long, long time since I've seen this. Uh, I have not gone back and watched it yet. I don't know how it holds up, but uh, yeah, look forward to revisiting this. Next, we're going to delve into a couple releases from MVD Rewind Collection. Uh, and I just uh, watched and talked about this movie in my last video, and that is Ski Patrol. I'm not going to go too deep into it. I talked about it quite a bit in that video. Go check that video out if you want to hear my thoughts on it. But uh, yeah, this movie is very nostalgic for me. I saw it when I was a kid. I remember watching it multiple times, rented it from the video store. And it's a lot of fun. A little corny, but still a lot of fun. The next title from the MVD uh, Rewind Collection is Sean Penn and Christopher Walken. Uh, in At Close Range. This is an extremely underrated movie. If you've never seen this, do yourself a favor and watch At Close Range. It's fantastic. A little, little bit dark, a little bit disturbing at times, but an all-around just great film. Uh, pretty underrated, in my opinion, so definitely check it out. Now we're going to delve into some steelbooks. Uh, the first two are Lionsgate steelbooks with nice slip covers. Um, and the first one is uh, Reservoir Dogs, which was a Best Buy exclusive. I have not watched this yet. I've heard it looks fantastic. I apologize for the glare, guys. Uh, but yeah, I love these steelbook uh, slip cover Lionsgate releases. So um, I look forward to watching this. It's been probably eight or nine years since I've watched Reservoir Dogs. The next Lionsgate title we have is The Limey, which I don't know anything about. I picked it up because it's directed by Steven Soderbergh. This was also a uh, Barnes & Noble exclusive. So I look forward to visiting this. Uh, I believe this is the last steelbook I picked up. And it is from Sony Pictures. And it is a fantastic steelbook. And it's the 4K of Starship Troopers. And it's just a fantastic uh, steelbook with that awesome art. I think it's really cool. I've not seen this in a long time. I definitely look forward to revisiting this. Next up is a movie that I don't think I got it at the Black Friday deal. Um, I think I got it for like $14.99 a couple weeks before. Kind of wish I would have waited because they had this for $9.99. Uh, I've never seen it before. I kind of look forward to checking it out. And that is Elvis. This is out from Warner Brothers. I'm sure it looks cool. And look at all. Look at the colorful. Look how shiny that is. That slipcover is very cool slipcover. Not a huge Elvis fan. I do like a lot of his stuff from when he was older and drugged out and that time period. I thought that music was pretty good. But his early stuff I'm not a big fan of. But he still definitely had an interesting life. So I, I definitely look forward to uh, watching this when I have uh, three hours. I think it's pretty long. Uh, 159 minutes. So uh, I probably might be a little bit before I watch this one. Next up from Warner Brothers. We have the Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman classic, Casablanca. 
This movie's fantastic. It looks fantastic. If you get a chance, definitely check it out, especially in this format. Uh, you won't be disappointed. It's a great movie all around, no matter what, uh, what format you see it in, but this is going to be the best you've ever seen it. So definitely, if you get a chance, check out the 4K. And I lied, and I don't know if this one actually came out in November. This might have been an October release. Maybe I didn't get it until November. I don't know. And it's another steelbook. But that's Jordan Peele's Nope, which I have not opened yet. I have not even watched yet. But I have the steelbook for this. Like I said, I can't remember. This might have been an October release. But it's in the pile. We're going to show it off anyway. Next up, we have Pearl, uh, the new horror film from Ty West. And this is from A24. I've not seen it yet. Uh, I was a fan of X, but I've heard this is much better. Definitely look forward to checking this out. Next up, we got a couple more releases, a couple holiday releases from Warner Brothers. And uh, one, uh, the first one is Elf. I also included this in that same video with Ski Patrol. So if you want to see my thoughts on this or watch that video, it's uh, the last video I did. Check it out. Uh, but yeah, this looks great. Uh, I revisited this again. I hadn't seen it that many times, and I loved it. So I'd highly recommend this release. The last movie I talked about in that collection, that uh, holiday collection that I watched when I was snowed in the other day, uh, in that video, is another release from Warner Brothers, and that is A Christmas Story. This also is a great movie, great release from Warner Brothers. Looks fantastic. I highly recommend it. Uh, check it out if you've never seen it. I can't believe you probably haven't because they play it constantly around the holidays, but... Still a good movie nonetheless. Check it out. Uh, and then the last one from Warner Brothers, as far as the holiday movies go, the Warner Brothers releases, is uh, Christmas Vacation. I do have a full review for this on my channel. Uh, so definitely go check that out if you want to hear my full thoughts on it. But I will tell you, it looks great. This movie is fantastic. I grew up in this movie. I saw it in the theater. This is the ultimate Christmas movie, in my opinion. It doesn't get much better than this. There are a lot of close movies that come close to this, or somewhat close, but this one takes the cake. This is, in my opinion, the best Christmas movie out there. Do yourself a favor, pick it up, especially on this 4K edition. Uh, last up for as far as like the holiday movies that I picked up, uh, at least I think it's the last of the holiday movies, is from Paramount. And I've heard this is not a very good release. And it's planes, trains, and automobiles. I have not checked it out yet for myself. I've heard the 4K is not very good, which is disappointing because this movie is fantastic. But I picked it up. For this reason alone, for the fact that you get over an hour, is it over an hour of undel of deleted, uh, probably never before, never before seen footage of clips from the movie, which I'm sure are hysterical. So this release alone, I recommend it just for that. Next movie I picked up, uh, I got this during the Black Friday, so I think this was $7.99. And sorry, you can't really see too much of the cover. The sticker, I had it on hold, and I and they uh, put the sticker on here, but it's a uh, Top Gun. Still has this crap on it. I gotta. It's just on the wrapping paper, so when I open it, it'll come off. But uh, yeah, I haven't seen this movie in a long time. I can't remember if I what I've heard about this transfer, if it looked good or not. I think I heard that it did, but uh, I look forward to checking this out. And unfortunately, on this list, I did not pick up Maverick. I don't know why. Uh, I will probably have to do that. That came out in November too, and I was dumb and just didn't pick it up. I don't know why, but it's a great movie too. But yeah, I look forward to watching this again. Uh, next, we're gonna delve into a uh, Warner archive. Uh, the Warner Archive collection, and that's The Prince of the City. I only heard about this movie for the first time just the other day. It sounded interesting. Uh, it seemed to get pretty good reviews, so I thought I'd check it out. So I picked it up, and I was going to watch it the other day and realized that it's 167 minutes long. So this might not be one that I delve into quite yet because it is extremely long. But, yeah, I, uh, I oh yeah, who directed this? Oh, yeah, it's Sidney uh, Lumet. Is it Lumet or Lumet? I think it's Lumet. Um, so oh, he's made solid stuff, so I'm sure this is pretty good. So I look forward to checking this out. And I also love these uh, these Warner Archive collection uh, releases. They're really cool. Next up is a movie that I think came out in like 2000. This is an old, old movie. I was in the mood to watch it the other night. I hadn't seen it in years. Went over to my collection, and I looked through my collection like four times. And I, for the life of me, could not find this movie. I was shocked that I didn't have it in the collection. So I hopped online and picked it up. I have not watched it yet. I'm gonna, maybe probably going to watch it tonight. Uh, and it was a little expensive, too, for how old this movie is and such a basic Blu-ray release. It was like 13 or 14 bucks. I was kind of surprised it was this expensive. But nonetheless, I'm glad to have this in the collection. And that is uh, George Clooney and Mark Wahlberg in Wolfgang Pearson's The Perfect Storm. 
Uh, this movie, I remember I enjoyed this movie quite a bit. I'd only seen it a couple times, and it's probably been at least a decade since I've watched it. And I was just in the mood to watch it the other night for some reason. I don't know why, but now I'm glad I have it in the collection, and I will probably check this out maybe tonight. Well, guys, I lied. There was another holiday uh, 4K in here. This was another one I picked up during the Black Friday sale, which I think was only like $7.99 or $9.99. Uh, but that's Frank Capra's It's a Wonderful Life. I absolutely love this movie. Haven't seen it in quite a few years. Uh, have not seen the 4K. Have not seen the transfer. Haven't heard much about the transfer. I thought I heard it. It, it was pretty good. But uh, definitely look forward to checking this out. I'm going to have to do it real soon during this holiday season. This next movie I just got in the mail today as I came home from work. It showed up like an hour after I got home. And I have been looking forward for this physical release for a long time. Uh, this documentary sounds fascinating. I've really wanted to check it out for a long time. And it comes with a sweet uh, slipcover with awesome artwork. And that is Pennywise, the story of it. This is a documentary that talks about the uh, the making of the first movie. At least I believe it is. It might delve deeper into the character of it as well. But uh, yeah, I was a big fan of the 1990 uh uh, mini series of it so i definitely look forward to uh, checking this out and here you see tim curry on the back so i'm glad to see he's involved in this i'm not sure what year this came out i think it came out a few years ago um maybe it was 2022 yeah maybe it was maybe it did just come out this year but either anyway uh I remember uh, when I first saw a thing for it, I was like, oh, that looks awesome. And now I finally have it, just got here today, and I changed my mind. This is probably what I'm going to watch tonight. All right, guys, we're winding down here. We're down to the last one, two, three, four, five. And the last five are all Criterion. These are all the Criterions that I picked up during the sale. Uh, this one was the last one I... Uh, I picked up and I just watched it last night and it was awesome. And that is the film noir Kiss Me Deadly. If you've never seen this movie, do yourself a favor and watch it. It's one of the coolest uh, film noirs I've seen in a long time. Uh, probably definitely would make my top five list. Uh, it's, it's something else. The ending really kind of catches you by surprise. Like you don't really see it coming. Uh, yeah, this movie's great. Check it out. Next up, I got the Infernal Affairs trilogy uh i've only seen one of these films just whatever one i the departed parted was based off of or a remake of uh i look forward to delving into all three of these films uh unfortunately it wasn't a 4k i was kind of hoping it would be just a blu-ray but that's okay so definitely look forward to checking this out all right next up we kind of i was going with the noir vember getting some film noirs this was kind of a little bit more of a modern type one and it's chan is missing uh, this movie was really cool. I enjoyed it. It was nice and short, too. It was only 75 minutes. Kind of had all the aspects of a film noir. Um, it did take place, I think it was modern time, and it was during the early 80s. So it's a little bit more of like a neo-noir, a little bit later. It's not like a typical 1940s, 50s type noir. Uh, a little bit later, but still, still a very cool movie. All right, guys, we're down to the last two. Next up, we're sticking with the noir theme. And this one was also like a neo-noir a little bit later. Uh, and I watched this. This was fantastic. It was a 4K release. It looked fantastic. This movie is great. I'm not a huge Brian De Palma fan, but the stuff that I do like, I usually really like. And this movie is definitely a movie that I really liked. And it's John Travolta. John Tra uh, can't talk today. John Travolta and Nancy Allen in Blowout. Yeah, this movie is fantastic and it looks fantastic. Definitely check this out. Uh, I think in, is it January? January or February, Criterion has like a 24-hour flash sale. So definitely uh, definitely pick this up if you've never seen it. You won't be disappointed. All right, guys, we have made it to the end. Last but not least, uh, I heard this movie is a great transfer. I look forward to watching it. It's a great digipack, and it's from Criterion, and it is Wally. -E. Uh, yeah, I love that artwork on the front. I love how thick this is. It's like a nice digi book. Very, very cool release. I heard it looks great. I can't wait to watch it. And yeah, and that's it, guys. That's what I picked up. There was a lot of other things I wanted to pick up this month and a lot of other stuff that came out. Uh, not even that. Well, it's a few things that did come out during with the Criterion during the sale, but... You know, guys, you can't buy everything. And with the holidays coming up, you know, you got, there's presents you got to buy. You know, you got to... 
pick and choose where you're going to spend your money. So unfortunately, you can't buy everything. But I did get a nice haul. I had like 25, 26 movies. So, but yeah, guys, that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know you guys like what I'm doing. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. And please let me know down below, below in the comments, guys. What did you pick up? Uh, is there anything that I didn't pick up that came out that you highly recommend that I probably should get sooner rather than later guys let me know i love talking about this stuff thank you so much for watching guys i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next video take care bye